Hare Krishna. So, if you've seen the Dodi video, which is pretty cool, then uh, this will be the part two on how to do shed your pants. So, um, basically, I'm wearing them right now. This is how it's going to look like. And uh, they're pretty sort of practical. The Shetris used to use them for fighting, for uh, riding on a horse. They're pretty much pants made with dotties. You can kick, you can do a, yoga, a little bit of yoga. Um, okay, so let's do this. So, uh, we have a bell piece on here, which we'll uh, take off. So, pretty much what I've done is I've rolled my dhoti on. Now, if you don't know how to roll a dhoti or tie knot, uh, go check the dhoti video that I did a couple months ago. It's, uh, it's really nice. I'll show you how to roll the dhoti and how to put on a dhoti in various ways. Okay? So that, that would be how to roll a dhoti on. Then uh, the next part we want to do is measure the length of the dhoti. So when you roll your dhoti on, make sure you're you you roll it evenly so that there's equal length on both sides left. So in a normal dhoti, the back pleats would be a little shorter and you would leave more for the front pleats, but in the shut your, do shut your pants, we want to keep the same length. The next thing you want to do is, um, if see if we were to just put it under there like back pleats and put it on like this, it would become too, too big, too stuffy. So what we want to do is wrap it once around the legs so that you get what, what would be the, the modern uh, tight pants or, you know, something like that. Okay, so we've wrapped it once around the leg. And then you want to tuck this in here in the back like back plates. Now we want to do the same thing on the other side. Okay, and now you want to take these sides here and just fold them like the back plate, but um, put them in front like this. Do the same thing on the other side. And then tuck in the sides all around. And voila, this is how it looks like. Now there's different ways to put on the Shadria. Uh, pants. This is just one way that I know. Um, so, let's see how it looks like. Now, we could just leave it like this, but it, it looks a little unfinished, especially because we don't just want to have pants. We, we want to have something that looks pretty good, like, like what the Shetras used to have. So we're going to put it on the bell piece. Also, uh, as we talked on the other Dodi video, uh, you can go check it out for different styles of bell piece and uh, why we use the bell piece. But I'll, I'll mention two reasons. One is we should cover the navel because the navel is attractive. And so pretty much as devotees, we want to attract ourselves less to this body and more to Krishna. So that's the idea. Um, so what, what I've done here is I tucked it in the back here so that the front looks a little better. And so, uh, by putting the bell piece, see, see the effect that we get here in the back? It just kind of looks nice. And then, okay, the, uh, another good reason for wearing a bell piece is you can tuck things in your bell piece, like your phone, your beat bag. It's just really practical, especially because dhotis don't have uh, pockets, so the bell piece is great as a pocket. And then we just want to tuck it in here. And this, this would be a, a practical bell piece that doesn't fall down. Because there are those ones that you see on the DDs where it ties in front and, and uh, has something dropping down here. Now that looks really good on the DDs, but I'm not sure it's that practical for everyday use. And then you get a little zigzag here, which looks nice. 
So that is the shut your pants and with the belt piece. And then uh, you can put a, a corta on or a nice cheddar. Uh, for cheddar styles, just check out the the, ch the cheddars on the Doty tutorial. You know, there's a lot of cheddar styles. But we're going to do one that we kind of missed. And this is the one that you see Raman Lakshman wearing in the cartoon Raman. So I thought, you know, they're shatrias, and this would go nice with the shatri pants. Just a little practical cheddar you'll see on the Chanakya series, too. And it's great for fighting. You know, a few dramas here and there. And there we go. Thank you so much. Um, please like, subscribe. If you have any comments, let us know. Uh, contact me on, on Facebook, too. Um, thank you so much. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. So, welcome to making the cloth bag. Now, we don't always have a backpack, and sometimes, especially for the Pujaris, we want to have a bag that's not stitched so that it can go in the altar. And uh, for traveling around in India, very practical. So what we have here is a cheddar folded into a square, but it doesn't have to be a cheddar, it can just be a, a square. Now, the good thing about folding a cheddar is you'll get a double layer so the cloth won't break. Also, um, rectangles are good. They might even be better than a square. So all we're doing really is tying a knot here. And then tying a knot on the other side. It's as simple as that. I mean, um, I was reluctant to make a tutorial this because like you don't really need to teach this, but um, it might come in handy and maybe some of you haven't thought of this. So you can make the knots a little smaller so that you know they're not as bulky, but I'm just making them big so that you can see them. So what we're going to do here is uh, we can put them on the shoulder or on the back like a backpack. So um, I'm going to demonstrate that. So this would be the, the shoulder one, and um, you'll see that a lot with sannyasis in India. And now we're going to do the backpack. And there you have it. We have the cloth bag. Um, now, of course, if you have a bigger cloth, uh, you're going to have a bigger backpack. You can use. It doesn't have to be cotton. It can be wool. Whatever. Okay. Thank you so much. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. So, we've done the Shetri pants with the bell piece. You can put your cheddar however you like. Um, now that we have all these things, uh, one may say, well, we're, we're not wearing anything stitched. We're going to go into the altar. But wait a minute. Our bead bags are stitched, right? Now, I have nothing against stitched bead bags. They're very beautiful. And in fact, the, the unstitched bead bag doesn't look that great. Uh, but its purpose isn't to look you know, to be attractive. The purpose of it is when you go on the altar or doing yakyas and like that. Or if the worst comes to it, the end of the world, uh, the end of the economy, people stop making uh, stitched bee bags. Well, you don't have to freak out because you can still do the, your job, all right? So we're just gonna uh, learn how to do this. And it's actually pretty exciting. So let's go ahead and get started. So what we need is a cloth. It should be a not square, but rectangle. And um, same as the cloth bag, we're gonna fold it in half. And now what, what we need to calculate is that the, the side where you put your hand in to chant mm -hmm. should be bigger. And the one where your index finger is gonna come out uh, should be smaller. So what we're doing here is we're folding the cloth a little bit like that. Uh, also so that uh, you know, your beads won't fall out. And, um, I might twist it a little bit here and uh, just make a nice strong knot. And don't worry about um, covering the holes because we can fix that uh, later. Now, of course, you can take your time and make this look better, but I want to be a little faster so that you don't fall asleep. Um, so we have our little hole here for the index finger, right here, and I'm going to pull this out a little bit so you can fit your hand in. 
And um, of course, um, I made a, a small beat bag because I have small beats. But if you have a larger beat bag, what you need to do is just get a bigger rectangle, and uh, it will work just fine. Um, so I got to give credit to uh, the principal of the Gurkha in my board, uh, Bardana, Mahashai, for inventing this. Which is great. And it looks like it looks like we're from the forest. Like it looks like we just came out of Satya Yuga or something. Um, so there you go. That's that's your beat bag, and then you can keep on adjusting it. And as you use it, I'll, I'll start looking better. Of course, the knot can be fixed if you have a bigger rectangle, and um, you can um, put the counter in there uh, while you're doing the knot, or you can just keep the counter in, in the beat bag. That's what I prefer to do. Some people tie the. And the, the counter is on Krishna's head, but I'm not sure that's bona fide because it kind of looks like you're joking, Krishna. Um, anyhow, so there you have your beads and your bead bag, and um, we're ready to do some japa. Okay, uh, 16 downs run, and we can put the bead bag here, go to service, and continue chanting. Thank you so much. Um, again, you know, if you have a chance to go visit the Guru Gold Mai Board, do so. Uh, you can learn so much there. Give a nice donation to them. And uh, please like, comment, subscribe. Uh, comment. Uh, if you have any questions, check out the page on Facebook. And um, I, if you want to come here, wherever I am right now, I'm in Nova Virgin Mandala, Spain, for some classes, I'll be happy to assist you. Yeah, thank you so much. Have a good